Number 10, Roberto Teada. This armored truck guard worked as a driver for Miracle Delivery Services until when he decided to steal $800,000 in cash. He was more intelligent than your average armored truck driver turned thief since he stole the money over several months to avoid detection. He also tried to alter documents to account for all the missing cash. It didn't work in the end, but at least he put in some effort. Police discovered that Teada used some cash to buy five brand new 2021 cars for his family members. Unfortunately, the police don't recognize Robin Hood-like acts of charity as a valid excuse. Buying five new cars with stolen cash isn't a great way to avoid detection, is it? The police took all the cars and the cash which he was keeping in his bedroom. Number 9. Mark Nicholas Espinoza Garda, the armored truck company, doesn't publicly post how much their drivers make. But according to job website Indeed.com, the average starting pay for Garda drivers is $12.46 an hour. Does that seem like a good idea, considering you've hired these people to drive around with bags of money? You're practically asking your employees to try something, aren't you? Mark Nicholas Espinoza, unsatisfied by his $12.46 an hour, stole more than $900,000 during a routine pickup and delivery in Kentucky. Espinoza was supposed to meet his partner on the other side of the mall they collected cash from. But instead of driving the bulletproof armored truck to the meeting spot, he disappeared. Well, he tried to anyway. The truck was abandoned in the mall parking lot, but Espinoza and the cash were gone. He was later arrested near Hartford, Connecticut, where he'd been living there under the false identity of Sam Smith. Not the most creative fake name, huh? He apparently bought a Chevrolet Malibu five days after the theft, which is also not the most creative car you would buy with $900,000. He was probably trying to keep a low profile, but clearly it wasn't low enough. He was sentenced to three years in prison after pleading guilty. He, of course, had to pay Garda back. Number eight, traffic jam. An armored truck on its way to San Diego caused an unexpected traffic problem when money started flying out the back of it. You can have all the bulletproof glass you want, but it really doesn't matter if you leave the door unlocked and bags of money rained onto the street. The bills that came out were mostly ones and twenties, but it was still enough to bring traffic to a screeching halt. People stopped their cars, got out, and grabbed as much cash as possible. Videos from the lucrative traffic jam were posted all over social media and made cable news. California Highway Patrol eventually shut down the highway until the they could clear the scene. Only two people ended up getting arrested. They got caught because they locked themselves out of their cars in their rush to grab all this free money. Two of them were just standing there like idiots when the cops showed up. Everyone else had already driven off. It isn't known precisely how much money was lost and how much people actually got away with. According to police, there was less than $1 million in the truck. Anyone who grabbed the money and didn't return it committed a crime. Number seven, inside job. Not all armored truck heists are amateurist attempts where employees just grab what they can and run. Sometimes there's a bit more strategy involved. Three people were charged in a Brinks armored truck robbery in 2021, and one of them was the driver. The driver told the company and the police that he had been attacked while getting coffee at a gas station. He said one guy held him up while another took all the money out of the truck. There was security footage to back up his story too. However, when police found the people who robbed the truck, they realized both robbers knew the driver. To make matters worse, the driver was in on it. They planned on splitting the money three ways, but all didn't go according to plan. This is actually a fairly common tactic. It's not the first time it's been tried, and it's not even the first time it's been tried by people who work for Brinks. In 2019, a different Brinks driver told detectives that a man in a motorcycle helmet robbed him at gunpoint and stole all the cash. When the mysterious motorcycle man got caught, it turned out to be the driver's friend. Apparently, it's a little harder to stage a robbery than people think. Number six, release the reports. In 2018, a man built his own armored vehicle and stopped traffic for an hour and a half on a bridge near the Hoover Dam. He had a gun and a sign that said, Release the OIG Report, which is some conspiracy theory reference. The driver, Matthew P. Wright, was eventually arrested and charged with obstruction of a highway, endangerment, unlawful flight from law enforcement, misconduct involving a weapon, and terrorist acts. Highway 93 had to be shut down, other cars were evacuated, and tourists at the Hoover Dam were told to shelter in place. Police sent multiple armored units to the scene. The madman decided to leave and headed towards Arizona. However, he ran into a roadblock of tractor trailers the cops set up. He made a U-turn and attempted to drive the other way instead, but he ran over spike strips and popped his tires. Surprisingly, this was not the end of his conspiracy adventure. He drove his armored car off the highway and made it three miles away from the road before being surrounded by police. He ended up surrendering peacefully. In a certain sense, he won since many people saw his sign and it ended up in lots of YouTube videos like this one. But in a much more 
more real sense, he lost because he's in jail and can no longer read about conspiracies on the internet. Number five, Brian Johnson. You don't have to be a real armored truck driver to pull off one of these heists. All you need is a little bit of imagination and some clothes that make it look like you're an armored truck driver. In 2015, Brian Johnson walked into a Walmart dressed like a Loomis armored vehicle driver. He wore all black, a hat, and a tactical looking vest with many pockets. It looked close enough. He walked right in, signed for the money, and then left. When the actual Loomis employee showed up about 45 minutes later, the Walmart employees realized something was up. They'd just given $75,000 to the wrong guy. When the police caught Johnson, they discovered his getaway driver was the Walmart manager's stepdaughter, Maria Bustamante. The manager's name was Rico Robertson, and police arrested him too, figuring he had something to do with it. It turns out they were right. Robertson planned the whole thing. However, police dropped the charges against Robertson a year later after he suffered a stroke and couldn't stand trial. Johnson, our wannabe armored truck driver, was never caught and by all accounts is still at large today, along with the money he stole. He's wanted for the Walmart heist and several crimes in California, including a shooting. Number four, robbed and fired. Getting robbed is probably the worst thing that can happen as an armored truck driver. Getting fired is perhaps the second worst thing that can happen. Unfortunately, Sabrina Gemeno got to experience both when she was robbed and then subsequently fired. A seven-year veteran driver for Brinks Armored Trucks, Gemeno was returning to her vehicle with bags of cash. It stopped being a routine stop when three masked gunmen jumped out of an SUV. In the surveillance video, you can see one of them keeping a weapon on her while the others grabbed the money. In the end, they made off with $100,000. Just a few days later, she got fired. Brink said she violated protocol and never gave her, the news, or anyone else a better explanation. Maybe Brink suspected that Jimeno was somehow been involved in the robbery and the whole thing was an inside job. After all, it wouldn't be the first time drivers have pulled that classic scheme. Jimeno denies having any sort of involvement. Unless it was the greatest indie job of all time, the video doesn't back up that theory. Jimeno was forced to the ground and feared for her life. All she could think about was her three kids who depended on her at home. Most inside jobs don't put the driver directly in harm's way. Number three, Dan Kennedy. In 2015, a Utah man named Dan Kennedy saw a large orange bag in the middle of the highway. He pulled over and grabbed it, thinking it could be a traffic hazard. When he grabbed it, he realized it was heavier than it looked. When he opened it, he realized why. The bag fell out of an armored truck and was full of cash. It's unclear how much money was in there, but news outlets reported it weighed 75 pounds, so let's do some simple math. Paper US dollars weigh precisely one gram, according to the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. There are roughly 453.6 grams in a pound. So if that bag was full of $1 bills, it would be worth $34,000. According to Kennedy, the four foot tall bag was full of smaller bags containing 50s and 100s. So if all 75 pounds were in 50s, he'd be holding just over $1.7 million, give or take, for the weight of the bags. Kennedy, who is morally superior to nearly everyone else on this list, tried to track down the armor truck and return the money. When that didn't work, he just called the police. When they showed up, they were stunned by the amount of cash. How do you manage to lose a 75 pound bag of money? The driver said they hit a bad bump in the road and the back door came open by mistake. Either these armored trucks aren't as secure as they should be or the roads in Utah are wild. Number two, Larry Brooks. He had a horrible day at his new job as an armored truck guard. If he hadn't gotten caught, it could have been the best day of his life. He tried to steal $100,000 in cold, hard cash on his first date. Maybe he should have waited longer to develop a better plan because the company caught him red-handed on their security cameras. He was arrested and charged with second-degree theft. The company he worked for, Garda, recovered $86,000 from a car parked near Larry's house. Then they contacted the police. Now, before anyone judges Larry too hard, they should ask themselves, did I resist taking huge stacks of cash just sitting there? Well, some people evidently can, since not all guards get arrested. After this incident, it's safe to assume Garda was a little more careful in their hiring process. Number one, Bathabil Mlanjeni. While working for SBV Secure Collections in South Africa, Bathabil decided to loot the cash she was supposed to protect. While at a pickup depot at the Mall of Africa, Bathabil used a pair of scissors to slice open two bags of cash. 
Then, she stuffed about 4 million South African rands into garbage bags and left before anyone knew what happened. Her brazen theft occurred in July 2019, and she remained on the run for the next three years. Nobody knew what happened to her, where she'd gone, or where she stashed the cash. Her mother remained adamant that Bathabeel could never commit such a crime. According to Mama Langeni, her daughter would never steal a penny. A neighbor told police she showed up at his house in December 2019 and stayed for a few days before hitting the road again. He had no idea she was wanted for the robbery. Police thought they were close when other neighbors claimed they saw Bathabeel at her sister's wedding. However, Mama Langeni spoke up again, denying everything the neighbor said. She hadn't seen her daughter since she allegedly stole the money in July. Oddly, the family never followed the missing persons report, which is strange for being so convinced she's innocent. They spend a majority of the COVID pandemic wondering what happened to her. Then she turned up in January 2022. Now in prison and refusing bail, Bathabeel awaits her future in a South African holding facility. Perhaps mass mandates and other restrictions allowed her to hide in plain sight. After all, her face was plastered across every tabloid in the country. Even though police caught up to her, they never recovered the money. Maybe she spent it all at the Mall of Africa? Click here to watch one of these next videos. And let us know in the comment section if your life depended on performing a successful heist of something worth at least $100, what would you steal and where would you steal from?